to move in the interest of the time quickly move into our next speaker uh, mr hamza taki he is a career mentor he is an author as well as a talent development professional uh, a special thanks to uh, mr hamza taki because he is on the other uh, currently on the other part of the world he is in new york and it's early morning recently over the last one hour he is on the panel is been cooperating with us uh, let me just quickly tell the uh, viewers and the listeners about his uh, background uh, uh, he is basically a talent development professional chartered marketers and an electrical engineer throughout his 30 year working experience in banking and telecom hamja was engaged in developing the business of various martin brands the excitement of his North company since 2008. Mr. Hamza has dedicated his life to develop people. His to transform it by touching hearts earned him the nickname Mr. Excitement. He strongly believes that people can do wonders if they are able and willing. ATD awarded uh, Mr. Hamza with the ATD Master Trainer and ATD Master Instructional Designer designations. So we are eagerly waiting to hear Mr. Hamza Taki. Uh, and Mr. Excitement, you know, Aka, Mr. Excitement, about how does he guide our students, uh, community, and, you know, tell them that exactly what to look for when they plan for their future. Mr. Hamza. Good afternoon. Namaskar, everybody. I'm so happy to be with you. Am I clear? Do you see me? Yes, sir. You are, you are okay. You are audible as well as visible. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will take you back. I'm in New York City now. I'm in Manhattan for a while, uh, and I will take you back to uh, 1920s. In the 1920s, uh, before uh, the cars, as we know them, there used to be horses, and they are pulling you know, a carriage or like a, a coach, they call it. And um, and there is a guy who has like, a, you know, he hits the, the horses so that the, the coach will go. This, this gentleman or that person who uses, uh, you know, who sits there, his job uh, became obsolete when the car came about. Did you know that? His, his, his job became obsolete. Now, this person or that skill to ride the horses and to pull the carriage or the coach, uh, it changed, it evolved. Um, in 1930, 1940s, my dad used to build dows. You know the dow, the, the ship? with the ship so he was a builder for ship now his job is obsolete nobody builds ships with wood because, you know they think only wood can you know stay on the water now everything can stay in the water uh, <clears throat> so 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 things change and we as a human since aeons we change, we evolve, we develop, no matter what. I know we've been, we've been hunters and gatherers until we're now in the digital age, information age. We change big time. The school system, in the other hand, it didn't change much. Uh, and, and, and we need to see that because, see, uh, <clears throat> uh, Let's take Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, he went to higher education just because his uh, his parents promised his original parents that they will take care of him for school. So they put him in the school and he quit after like finding out that what he's studying was not fun. It wasn't something that he wanted. But then when he quit, Already, the second semester was paid by his parents. So he said, since it's paid, let me select the right courses that I like, since I'm going to stay one semester and leave. 
So he went into geography, and 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 that's how you know uh, the Macintosh or Apple became very good in the font because of that you know knowledge. Uh, I talk about me after talking about how the the the, the job had evolved and the skills had evolved. Uh, I uh, became electrical engineer in, in from uh, Northrop University in, in Los Angeles. Uh, in 1988, and only I went to electrical engineering because everybody thought that was, you know, engineering was the ultimate. Engineering was, you know, it's the best career to have. Like we're now talking, for example, about AI or talking about, uh, you know, uh, developers or, or software engineers or coding programmers. How they are needed? Uh, website or App application uh, designers or application uh, uh, developers. Uh, so, but I worked in a bank. My first job was working in a bank. And the first job they gave me as salesman, I felt insulted. I was just looking, wow, me, salesman? I am an engineer. You put me in a sales. But I took it because I was waiting for another big company to call on me later on. So I did the job and I became a good salesperson. And I liked it, I enjoyed it. The big company, when they called me for the interview, I went to the interview, I looked at the, uh, you know, how they were working as engineers. I said, no, I'm not gonna join you. Although the salary is much higher. I said, I'm not going to join you. I like, you know, the banking. It's fun. I'm learning totally new stuff. I don't know anything of, you know, I was writing everything that the manager or whoever is mentoring me. I was writing it in the book and I would, I would still to, today, I would calculate a loan for you using my hand. That's how much, you know, I learned because I was eager to be successful in this issue. Now, fast forward, I had to became, become a marketeer rather than engineers to stay in the banking. And when I became a marketeer, I became a chartered marketeer. I understood marketing, I understood business. I moved from the banking sector to the telecom because it was very fast and a lot of activities, a lot of marketing happening. And uh, 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 after like 20 years of working in banking and telecom, I decided to build my own business, which is taking care of people, uh, training them, developing them. And because, you know, people is what makes the country. People, it's what makes the bank. People, it's what makes the university. You know, uh, the university, uh, it consists of the faculty, it's the people of that make the university. It's not the building, it's not the software, it's not everything. So my uh, thinking of this in terms of job career, uh, that don't get bugged in and don't get scared, uh, we, as people, we are able to adapt and change and pivot our work. Uh, and I gave you this example about my dad, about my baby, uh, you know, the coach, how it evolved. Uh, so now some jobs will be obsolete. For example, a clerical job, anything that will be automated will, with the AI, with the Internet of Things, with uh, uh, augmented reality. Uh, uh, a lot of job will be automated, but our job will be changed, will be evolving, will be doing something else. Like, for example, now, uh, for example, if you have a driver that drives you through the city from job and takes you, you know, you have a driver, you hire a driver. Now, in the future, you will not need that skill, the driver skill, because the car will drive itself. 
it's smart, it's with sensors, and it will drive itself. So that job as a driver will be again obsolete. But the driver himself, the person, have pivoted this chain. Uh, sometimes in 1996, we had a CEO who came and he transformed the bank. And the first thing he did, we used to have, remember the old days, internal memos? Yeah, internal memos, external memos. And immediately he said, no internal memos, you have to use the computer and you have to send emails. And I send you email, you respond immediately, you CC others and stuff. You know, a lot of the senior management resisted that. And we were younger back then. We liked the idea of having a desktop and a mouse and playing in a computer. The older generation hated it. When they when they were treating them, uh, when they training them how to hold the mouse, their hand was shaking. They couldn't hold the mouse because they've never done it before. Now, even the secretaries, because a manager used to call the secretary in, the secretary would sit and they will dictate them for the memo and they will go and they typewrite it and they come with 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 a, a draft and then it will be changed and then it will go back and they will retype it again and it will come back and then the manager signs it and then he put his stamp all this have changed and now there is no stamp no signature only you do it digitally and it will go and people resisted that now people who resist the change, what's happening, what's coming, will be gone. We, as a human being, will always have to be confident enough that we can change and we can adapt to whatever that life will bring to us, no matter what it is. So to go back to our subject, if we were talking about career, healthcare, Healthcare is something will stay, especially the IT medical. IT medical, this is something that is 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 uh, is something that is, uh, you know, you as a student should think uh, about creativity. You know, this content creating and uh, video editing and you know the, those guys who does uh, you know uh, these things are again there is a demand for that, uh, the demand for sales professionals. You know, selling is still, there is a demand for selling skills. Although many, you know, selling softwares are there, soft CRMs are there to help you selling and, 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 and uh, follow up with your customers. But even with all these automation that happened in sales, sales professionals are in demand and they will stay in demand. Food industry uh, will be, uh, we talked about developers, Education, uh, you know, uh, in, in terms of education will change a bit in terms, it will become an educational advisor that advises students how they build their career like our uh, previous speaker have uh, mentioned. Uh, so uh, we are in the digitalization age, information age, and uh, and uh, we need to uh, uh, just, you know, stay focused, uh, uh, be conscious about what's happening around us, and don't get scared too much. You, as a person, as a human, you can do a lot with whatever you have, and you can change. Look at me, from electrical engineer to banking to marketing, now HR for the past 12 years, mainly, you know, uh, uh, developing people. Um, uh, you know, something like a trash engineering is going to be, it, it's really, really, the trash is going to be really huge. We will always have a trash and we always wanted people to recycle it and to do something for that trash. And, and there are now uh, a trash engineering uh, happening. Uh, so, uh, you know, to sum up my, my, my talk, uh, just to, you know, to, to give some context to it, it's like, 
you know, I like what Rumi says. Rumi says, you know, if you change the way you look at things, the thing that you look at changes. And, and it's, it's, it's not a play with the world. This is scientifically proven. If you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. So if you are a student here and you're looking, oh, there's so many things changing and, and I'm overwhelmed and you feel, you know, you cannot do anything, you feel, you, don't do that to yourself. Just go and take the first step, just jump into whatever it is. And you will pivot, you will change, you, will, you as a human, you can uh, do that. And, and, you know, I think Einstein said that we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is a habit. So what are the things that you're doing? Our friend was talking about soft skills and soft skills, they only give it at the, you know, at the job level. Why not from year one at the university? And then they, they, they will embed this in their style, in their lifestyle, in their work, in their, uh, as a student, like, you know, our friend talked about emotional intelligence, the collaboration, these are very important skills for all workers, all careers. I don't want to take much of your time. If you have any questions, I am here. Thank you so much. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Hamza Taki. Uh, once again, from the other part of the world, you have given some very interesting advice to our listeners. And uh, you have reminded that the, there is only one thing that is constant in the world and that is change. Uh, everything else <laughs> is not constant. So uh, you have also pointed out that it is very important to end rigidity and keep on learning new skills. I think that's a very, very key takeaway from your talk because, you know, when you do not know what is there in store in future, you have to be flexible. So speaker after speaker have been pointing out to these. You have emphasized on that. And thank you so much being with us. And Supriyo, with this, Supriyo, I hope we, to. Supriyo, we, we always, we always, we don't know what's happening tomorrow. Absolutely. We don't know what will happen tomorrow, but we know that whatever happened tomorrow, we will be ready to take care of. We so, the readiness, so readiness for the future is the key. That's how we can summarize your talk. Thank you so much once again. And now I move to my 